All right, we are turning now to a story highlighting the struggles of addiction. Last year, the CDC recorded the highest number of overdose deaths ever in a 12-month period, concerning many that the pandemic is only worsening the opioid crisis. And joining us now with personal experience on this issue are the authors behind the book, Under Our Roof, A Son's Battle for Recovery, A Mother's Battle for Her Son. Pennsylvania Congresswoman Madeline Dean and her son, Harry Cunane. Thank you both. Uh, for being here with us and I want to Harry eight years sober that's a big deal eight years of sobriety mm -hmm. we see that smile come on your face even as I say that but that story is one you could celebrate certainly privately why do you want to talk about this why was it important for you to get your story out there thank you so much I mean first of all eight years today I, I just I remember so vividly times when I couldn't couldn't even imagine getting a day um, so I need to always keep that in mind. The idea for us to tell this story publicly, specifically in a book, actually came from my older brother, um, who had suggested that, you know, we may have a story to tell. He was a writer, and um, when was he was asked to do a second book, came to us and said, you know, maybe maybe my brother and my mom do. And really, what guided us the whole time was hopefully trying to help someone. Um, you just mentioned the numbers: over eighty-one thousand deaths. I've lost so many friends. I've seen so many people struggle. And I know for me, when I was living in active addiction, I oftentimes didn't see enough of the hope. I didn't see enough of the recovery stories. And I think a lot of what we have out there, oftentimes in the media, is just that. It's the horror stories. And we need to focus on substance use disorder as a disease and as a treatable disease. Yeah, I mean, seeing someone like you and giving people hope is so powerful. So congratulations and kudos to you for being brave enough to tell your story. Representative Dean, I want to talk about what you were going through at the time because you were a rising star in the Democratic Party when this was all unfolding under your roof, as your book says. What was that discovery period like when you realized what was actually happening to your son? You're absolutely right. Literally the day that we confronted Harry because we discovered what was going on was one week to the day before my uh, election to a full term in the Pennsylvania House. I had been in uh, for about six months and I was being elected to a full term. So it was high campaign mode, um, but more important to me was figuring out what was going wrong with Harry. And most important was uh, us getting him to recovery and him saying yes. Harry, you mentioned too often the stories uh, are only seen or talked about when it's too late, when it's actually a tragedy. It's gone too far, but you're sitting here now, uh, you're married, a, a father of two. I, I'm told you have a third on the way, if I have that right, as well. And yeah. this is a success story, but what is it that happened with you that allowed you to come out of it, to have success that maybe another doesn't have? It might be that woman sitting next to you. It might be mama. It might be family. It might be support. But, but what were you getting that you think so many others aren't? There's, there's so many factors, um, and it's hard to pinpoint just one. I mean, the love and support of my family has been incredibly valuable. Um, we were also incredibly fortunate to increase or access really high quality treatment and long term treatment, um, which is sadly something that a lot of people don't have. So that's an area that we need to focus on in terms of really bringing this issue into mainstream medicine and treating it uh, with evidence based practices in a quality and professional manner, taking the stigma away and looking at recovery. Yeah, and, and, and hope is so important, but help is very important. And Representative Dean, I want to ask you what you think the role of the federal government is with that. Is there enough? Are there enough resources for people who need the help, want the help, but can't fund the help? No, there certainly aren't. That's another reason we wanted to put our story out there to shine a light on it, to try to drop and stop the stigma, and also to bring policies forward. Uh, we know a lot of uh, Harry's success uh, came from where he lived, uh, his socioeconomic status, the color of his skin. We understand uh, white privilege, uh, that Harry does not have a criminal record as a result of his addiction and, and the disease that he struggled with uh, and is in recovery from. So uh, I, at the state level and now at the federal level, am a part of a working group on addiction and policies around that, whether it's criminal justice reform so that people are not incarcerated because of addiction or mental illness, that they are actually given treatment. 
uh, that we get more treatment beds to more people, uh, not just those who can afford it. Uh, this needs to be mainstream healthcare. We can save lives. We can save communities. Uh, there's so much we want to do to end the stigma, change uh, how we look at this through the criminal justice system, and instead get it into our healthcare system. Wow, and this, as we just pointed out, is a growing epidemic in this pandemic. So this is such a well-timed message. We appreciate and applaud your courage and your efforts. Representative Madeline Dean and Harry Cunane, thank you both so much for being with us today. We appreciate it, and you. Thanks for having us. And everyone, don't forget to pick up a copy of Under Our Roof. It is in stores now. Yeah, we say, Doc, this is too often is treated like a criminal issue, a crime issue. It is a health yeah. issue. And when it's treated that way, that is what's possible. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.